welcome to Awesome Science Labs. I'm Pat Roy, and today we're going to talk about science. Dad, Dad! Melody! Let's next level this! Yes! Same thing we do every day, Mel. Try to blow something up. And this time we're gonna use volcanoes to do it. Woo! Yeah! Now listen, it's gonna be really hot, so I think we need to use something kind of like metal or something to make the volcano. Could we just use a soda can? Yeah, true, but then the potassium permanganate would fall into the can. You just flip it upside down and use the bottom. Oh, that's true. And then to make the volcano, we could surround it with Play-Doh! Yeah. Great minds think alike. And so do ours. All right, let's go make a volcano, yeah! Hey, by the way, when's the last time we made Play-Doh together? Uh, probably was when I was eating it. <laughs> That's right, it sure tasted good. A little salty <laughs> though, folks, a little salty. Okay, so Mel, now what we do is we mix this around uh, before we add the rest of the stuff. We're gonna need some water and uh, we've got the... All right. So we're gonna need two cups. Close enough. We pretty much got the lumps out and I think we're ready to transfer it to the pot. Oh man, my hands are getting... Yeah. Okay, you ready? All right, let's just pour it over into the pot. We're totally not going to spill it here. Wow, uh, looking good. It's like pancake mix. It really does. I was about to say the same thing. <laughs> okay, anybody want to lick the ball? <laughs> All right, check it out. It's actually working. Yeah, that does look like mashed potatoes. This is looking a lot like Play-Doh. This turned out really well. Okay. So you ready to make our uh, volcano? Yeah, let's All right. go. All right, let's clean up this mess and let's do it. All right, Mel, I think we're at the point where we're ready to, to make our volcano beautiful, right? Because before we utterly destroy it, we need to make, make oh, it look nice, right? Of course. You know what I was thinking is that uh, we're dealing with fire here, right? And so uh, I'm thinking that this is gonna burn up. So I think what we're gonna need to do is put some tin foil around that. We're also gonna need an empty soda can. This would be like uh, what we talked about, you know, where this becomes the core. We've got soda in there. What do you think we ought to do with that? I think we should rock, paper, scissors so it gets mm -hmm. to drink it. Ready? Okay, here we go. One, two, three. <sighs> okay, it's all you. All right, so while she's doing that, I'm going to take some tin foil. And I'm gonna wrap it around the cardboard. And again, this is important because we're actually going to light this thing on fire. And so we wanna make sure that it's not gonna burn up. So let's uh, do that. Very nice, very nice. Sounds good, Mel. Oh my, whoa! I told you there was gonna be eruptions before this was through. <laughs> And that's how you make a volcano. Uh, you drink a bunch of soda and it erupts right out of your nose, huh, Mel? Thanks, Mel, and that was rather delightful. Let's take this. Hey, that kind of looked like a brain, didn't it? It really did. Okay. What should we name this guy? I feel like he needs a name. I know, we'll call him Bernie. Because it's gonna burn. <laughs> Mel, what do you think? Uh, as an artist, do you like the shape of this? I mean, does it say volcano to you? It does. Volcano! All right. You ready to paint it? Yeah. Well, I'll let you put your artist touch on this. Like it, the black volcanic rock, very good. 
Want to add a little lava to it? Yeah. Now has a special no touch she puts on it. Lava. Now look what she's doing. She's just dripping the paint on there instead of painting it. That's kind of a cool way to do it, you know. Now it's looking great. Now let's burn it up. Bernie's gonna burn. Yes! So Dad, now that we got it all ready, how exactly does it work? Okay, well Mel, we've got the glycerin and we've got the potassium permanganate. Okay. And when we mix them together, there's gonna be a reaction that takes place. The electrons from the glycerin are actually gonna be transferred to the potassium permanganate, okay? And when something gives up electrons, it's called oxidation. And when something gets electrons, it's called reduction. And so when you have that happening at the same time, do you remember what that's called? A redox? That's right, a reduction oxidation reaction. Basically, it produces so much heat. What it's gonna be, Mel, is it's going to be an exothermic reaction. I hope the audience has the same reaction. Yeah, explosive. Looking good, Mel, looking good. All right, you ready to do this Let's thing? Let's do it. I'll do the All potassium right. for manganate. You can do the glycerin. Ooh. <clears throat> okay, let's do this thing. It's a little windy out here today. Matter of fact, look at that, Mel. I'm gonna put a little more on there just because. Okay, All awesome. Right. Okay, you ready? Let's I'm do ready. this thing. I'm gonna set this further away. All right. Now look, it's not doing anything, but what's gonna happen? Let's find out. I hope it's amazing. Let's see. Oh, oh yeah! Oh, there oh, goes yeah. Bernie! Yes! Woo! Very cool, look at that. Well, you know, that was pretty cool, but Mel, we don't normally use glycerin when we do this. We use... Brake fluid. Because it has glycerin. So, it'd be cool if we had one more volcano. Uh, Carl, Carl, volcano! Come on! Ah, there you go, thank you, Carl. Oh, hey, Carl, you, um, you forgot the brake fluid. Right on, thank you, all right. All right, there we go, brake fluid. Wait for it, well, oh, 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 yeah. oh. Oh, oh, yeah, woo -hoo. yeah, yeah, woo yes. Awesome. Well, that was a lot of fun, and we hope that you learned a bit about science as well. And uh, hey, Dad. But, Okay, yeah? We're not done yet. What do you mean? Whoa! Yeah! Can you believe that? This is gonna be totally awesome! Let's next level this, baby! Oh yeah, this is gonna be great! I call it Mount Melsuvius. So we're about to erupt Mount Melsuvius, but first, this doesn't really have anything to do with real volcanoes, does it? Mel, you're totally right. This is not how real volcanoes erupt. But you know what? Volcanoes do teach us a lot about creation. Mel, as you know, I used to be the director of the Mount St. Helens Creation Center. And so one of my favorite volcanoes of all times is Mount St. Helens. I love that volcano and it's because it changed geology and our understanding of science forever. By the way, when you take the Bible and you actually look at all the chronologies in the Bible and you do the math, what happens is it turns out to be about 6,000 years is the age of the earth, right? But a lot of people have come along and said, no, 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 layers like in Grand Canyon are millions of years old. Or the Colorado River cutting through the Grand Canyon would have taken millions of years to cut the canyon. Or there's another place at Yellowstone called Specimen Ridge. In Melody, there's 27 layers of petrified forest, one on top of another. Well, how long would that take, right? So Christians for a long time have said, well, Maybe the Bible isn't right when it talks about thousands of years. Melody, what's cool is when the eruption happened at Mount St. Helens, and not only the May eruption, but there was one in June and then another one in 1982, it caused 200 layers in less than three hours. It carved canyon systems in a matter of days. And also what we saw is it washed a bunch of trees into the lake and they began to sink vertically and it began to recreate layers that look a lot like the petrified forest that they say are very ancient. So Melody, Mount St. Helens has taught us that we can trust what the Bible says when it talks about the age of the earth. And imagine this, a lot of things that were going on during Mount St. Helens were probably happening during the worldwide flood. Let's blow up Mount Melsuvius, what do you say? Let's do it! Yeah! 
All right, let's do the potassium permanganate first. All right. Mel, we've blown up quite a few volcanoes we together. We sure have. We're but we have never used this much chemicals before. Never. Oh yeah, I can feel the potassium permanganate is really mounted in there. It's great. Okay, Mel, ready? you ready? Yeah. All right, this is it. This is where it's gonna this happen. Is it, guys. Okay, here we go. Woo! Oh, oh yeah! Yeah! yeah. It's coming out the sides. <laughs> and if you'd like to use this video as a teaching tool for homeschool or maybe even a co-op, a Christian classroom, or even a Sunday school, you're going to love that we put together a free PDF for you. This PDF will turn this video into a complete lesson and a family devotional. For the free download, come to awesomesciencelabs.com. Not only will you find the PDF for this episode, but all our Awesome Science Labs study guides. Again, go to awesomesciencelabs.com. Thanks for watching. I hope you had a blast. You can watch more episodes of Awesome Science Labs and all kinds of incredible family videos that teach science from a biblical worldview at awesomesci.tv.com. What are we gonna do today, Dad? A same thing we do every day, Melody. Try and blow something up. And this time we're going to use volcanoes. It's going to go. Kyle can take it out with his drone. <laughs> and this time we're going to use volcanoes to do it. Yes. yes. Don't tell me it's going to be one of them. Yeah. Uh, the blooper reel. Now people out normally add. <laughs> All right, ready? <laughs> well, Mel, so we've got the, the glycerin and we've got the potassium. <laughs> the glycerin gives up electrons and the potassium. <laughs> hey, thanks so much for joining us today. We hope that you've learned a lot about volcanoes and uh, we're just glad that. Hey, Dad. Yeah. Um... We're not done yet. What do you mean? Whoa! Yes! Check this out! This is gonna be totally awesome! Let's next level! Yes! Let's you next line gave, it! You gave such a long reaction. I did not need that.